Hey yo guys, Haku here with my top, well, top 18 Pokemon starters, I guess. I'm going to be going through all of the starters, for me, from my least favorite to my most favorite. And, um, I wanted to have this out before we got the announcement of the Gen 7 starters, but it's too late for that. Um... For the Gen 7 starters, I've already done a video on like my first thoughts. Um, I'm not going to be putting them in this video because my thoughts are definitely going to change once we see the evolutions and the uh, full typing and stuff once they evolve. But um, at least for right now, I am Team Pop Leo. Second place is, I don't know, it depends on what the secondary typing for Litten would be, I guess. I like all three this Gen. Gen 7, all three look pretty cool, but... um. At least for right now, I'm leaning towards Team Pop Leo. But um, let's just go ahead and get into these from least favorite to most favorite. My least favorite Pokemon starter is the Grass Starter from Gen 6, Chespin. Now, why Chespin is my least favorite? Look at him, he's a cute little gr ground groundhog thing. Um... Ah, or Chipmunk thing. It, it's just like, Chespin himself, even as my least favorite, Chespin himself doesn't look bad. I mean, when we first got the reveal of the Gen 6 starters, I was like, none of these look bad. They all look pretty good. It's when the evolutions came along. I think most fans are in agreement that um, Quilladin is one of the worst looking like Pokemon. Quilladin is just really lame. And for me, I absolutely hate Chestnut as well. I probably hate Chestnut more than Quilladin, even though it looks way, way cooler, and it does look really cool. I hate when Pokemon evolutions, like, don't make sense. I like when it looks like each evolutionary stage is just like a little bit of a better, more complex, more badass version of the stage before it, so that they all seem like they're in the same family. They fit together. With Chestnut, Chestnut doesn't look a thing like Chespin or Quilladin. I just, I, I don't like either of the evolutions. Chespin himself isn't that bad, but he's my least favorite because both of the evolutions are really lame. Also, that fighting secondary typing is pretty boring for a starter, in my opinion. Number 17 for me is Tepig. Now, Tepig is another one that, like... It's just firefighting. That's the only problem. The design itself doesn't look horrible. It doesn't look great either. But firefighting is just... Oh my god. It is the worst type combination in Pokemon. It is just so boring and overdone. And to be the third starter in a row to be firefighting, Tepic didn't stand a chance. It just really didn't. Um, that said, Tepic... Tepig itself I don't think looks bad. I don't really think Embor looks terrible either. I'm not a big fan of Pignite though. Um, so it's one of those things where again, it's not like the worst thing ever or anything. I just, I really don't like it. And the biggest part of me that hates it is because it's just the third firefighting in a row. My 16th favorite starter, or third least favorite rather, is Piplup. Now, I don't know if I've brought this up to you all before. I feel like I probably have. But for me, always in Gen 4, I would get my starter. And then as soon as I went to the first route, I would catch a Shinx and then ditch my starter and use Shinx as my starter. Because I thought all of the Gen 4 starters were like really bad and lame and I didn't want any of them. So, um, because I mean, as far as grass types go... Who wants Torterra when you can get something way cooler looking like maybe Rose Raid or um, Carnivine or Tropius or something? Um, why would you want something that looks like Piplup when you're going to have to use Surf and what is it, Dive and Waterfall and stuff and give that to your water Pokemon anyway to be an HM slave? So that takes that out and why are you going to want the fire fighting chimchar when you're going to get a way better when you're going to get a lucario later on which is a way better fighting type and it just i don't know none of the starters were good to me and i didn't like using any of them so i don't have a ton of experience with them 
But just talking about Piplup's design itself, it's kind of ugly and boring. Mostly boring. I don't really think that, like the first two that I've said so far, I kind of thought they were pretty bad, honestly. They were on the bad side of the Pokemon spectrum. Piplup and its evolutions aren't necessarily bad, they're just super boring. Um, they're a little bit bad, but they're mostly boring. Number 15 is Chimchar, yet another Sinnoh starter. Um, Chimchar, again, it isn't as much on the bad spectrum of things at all as Piplup is. It's not really on the bad spectrum whatsoever. It's not really on the good spectrum whatsoever. To me, Chimchar is the most boring starter. Chimchar is a bl and its evolutions are very, very bland Pokemon. I just think that they are some of the most boring that there are out there when it comes to Pokemon, and especially among starters, it's the most boring starter. Not the most bad, but the most boring, in my opinion. And again, being firefighting definitely doesn't help it with the whole boring factor, because we have two other firefightings, and um, they, you can choose them if you want instead. So, I mean, it's just really boring. It's not really bad, but it's not really good. Next up, number 14, is Oshawott. Now, for Oshawott, I really actually like Oshawott. I like Oshawott a lot, and I like Duwat even more. Like, they're cool, and Duwat, like, definitely looks like a bigger, cooler version of Oshawott. Then Samurott comes in and ruins everything. Samurott, like, it, its design looks kind of dumb. I've never liked it, and... I feel like it ruins the whole line. Like, Duot looks really cool. If we could have got a bigger, badder version of Duot, that would have been awesome. Samurott is not that. Like, Samurott seems like it takes the theme and forgets about it kind of a little and just does whatever, and it just doesn't look cool, and it's not really fun to use for me. So, um, yeah, definitely just... I like Oshawott, and I like Duwat, but Samurott ruins the evolutionary line for me and makes me not want to use the starter. Next is number 13, Torchic. Now, Torchic is one where, like, I like it. I like Torchic and all its evolutions. The only things I can say I don't like about it are that it's firefighting, and like I said, I hate the fighting secondary type for starters. It's really boring, especially firefighting. Um, and at least though, like you can argue, even though I don't like the firefighting thing, it was unique when Torchic came around. Torchic and its evolutions were like the first one to go for the whole firefighting thing. So you can at least give it some credit for that. So number 13. Number 12 is Turtwig. Now Turtwig, um, I don't particularly like, but I do think that it's really creative. So, um, it's sort of a weird thing. I don't really like it, but I think it's really creative. And, um, I just, I like the design, how it's like grass ground. It's got the tree on its back. I think that is really cool. I just like, when you don't want to use a starter for a generation, and you want to just use the normal Pokemon without using any starters, that should say that the starters probably are pretty bad. So, um... It's not bad, it's good. I like Turtwig, it's just I'd rather I'd rather have a Shinx than a Turtwig. Number 11 is Froki. Now, I just, I like Froki's design. I like Froki and I really like Frogadier. Not as big a fan of Greninja because I feel like it took a weird jump where it didn't look much like Frogadier. I feel like all of the Gen 6 starters did that where their final evolutions took a jump where they didn't look much like the middle evolutions and I I remember first seeing them I was like are these really the final evolutions I don't like this I like them like for all of them except for the obvious Quilladin I liked the middle evolution more than I liked the final like I like Frogadier more than Greninja but overall Froki and it's like I, th I think they're cool I think they look good Froki and its evolutionary line just maybe a tad bit overhyped, but I like them. Number 10 is Totodile. Now, I've always liked Totodile in the anime, and I think that Totodile and Feraligator look really, really cool. 
and I've always really liked them. I've just really always disliked Croconaw. Croconaw looks pretty uh, lame and dumb. But, um, man, feel me in saying that. But um, I like them, and I've liked them in the games and in the anime. I just haven't used Totodile and his evolutionary line very much because I like the other two Johto starters even more than I do like Totodile. Number nine for me is Chikorita. I think Chikorita and it's, um, and Bayleaf especially. Bayleaf looks awesome. I freaking love Bayleaf. And Meganium looks really cool too. I really just, I like the whole evolutionary line. I think they're really cute. So, um, really, I don't really have very deep thoughts when it comes to, um, the Chikorita evolutionary line. I just sort of like them. I, th I think they're really cute. I think that's my biggest thing is it has a cute factor going on. Very, very cute. Yo dog, I heard you like them. <laughs> Number eight is Mudkip. Now Mudkip at the time when Mudkip first came out, Gen 3, the design and the typing was super, super creative. It was a little bit similar to Wooper at the time, but it still just, it looked really cool and it really stuck out. And it was probably one of my, I think actually I picked it as my starter on my first playthrough in Gen 3, way back when the games first came out. So I'm definitely a big fan of Mudkip. And I think the evolutions are really cool too. Like Mudkip has a very strong evolution game. Like both um, Marsh Stomp and Swampert are both cool looking. They have a really nice move set too, so I I just like them. The only downside is that they're a water type starter, and in my opinion, water type starters are kind of boring and pointless because you need somebody to have surf anyway, and you're probably not going to want to put that on a starter to put in its move pool, and you're like you have an HM slave or something that has. A water type move as powerful as Surf and Waterfall and Dive and all those. So what's the point of having a second water type? Especially as well as water types are just so common, you know? There are so many different types of, well, so many different water type Pokemon that a water type starter usually isn't the uh, best choice. Like, there are barely any fire types, so fire type is a good one to go for. And grass types are usually weak except for the starter, so grass is a good way to go as well. But when it comes to water types, there's just such a large variety out there that you don't really need to start with one. Number seven for me, Squirtle. Squirtle is like so cool. It goes from cute to badass in a really cool way. And Wartortle looks amazing as a middle evolution. It's one of the originals and its design is just so cool. All three of its evolutionary stages have really awesome designs. Um, downside is that it's a water type and it's pure water, um, so it's not the most useful on a team, but it's just so cool. I have always been a big fan of the Squirtle Evolutionary line. Even though it's my least favorite Kanto starter, the Kanto starters are the originals, and I absolutely love all three of them, so Squirtle, you definitely earned your place. Number six for me is Charmander. Like, it's, yeah, it's way overrated, but it's nostalgic. It's like one of everybody's first Pokemon. It's one of the originals. Charizard is like such a huge part of the series. Like, I don't know. It's just one of, it's one of those Pokemon that everybody has had at one point. Everybody has loved at one point. So, um, yeah. I don't think there's enough love, though, for Unevolved Charmander or for Charmeleon, which both look completely awesome. But um, either way, the whole evolutionary line looks awesome. I love them. They were really, like I said, nostalgic Pokemon for me. So definitely sixth place is Charmander in my heart. Top five, my fifth favorite. Uh, Pokemon starter is, of course, Bulbasaur, the original, the number one. Like, Bulbasaur is my favorite Kanto starter, of course, as you can see. It's just, it's got that grass poison. I love poison types. They're my favorite, I've already said. So, like, I don't know. I just, look how cute it is. And, I mean, the anime as well. I loved Bulbasaur in the anime as a little kid. Bulbasaur is just one of those that I grew up with. I grew up with Bulbasaur as, like, 
this cool Pokemon that I always started with. And Ivysaur looks awesome. Venusaur is so cool as well. It's just one of those that's really central to the series for me. And again, a bit nostalgic, even. My fourth favorite Pokemon starter of all time is the Johto Fire-type Cyndaquil. Now, Cyndaquil is just so freaking cute, and it's a badass Fire-type as well. I just, I love using it. I think it's really fun to use, and um, Quilava is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Typhlosion as well is probably up there. I absolutely freaking love Typhlosion. So just... All in all, I am a huge Cyndaquil fan. I, of course, it's my fourth favorite starter. And when it comes to my favorite Pokemon even, it's probably pretty far up there. I really love Cyndaquil. Not even mentioning how cool the design is. I've always just, I've loved the little sort of hedgehog porcupine design, especially with Quilava again. Like I said, Quil Quilava is one of my favorites and it's mostly just the design. The design is so cool looking to me. So, yeah, just one of my absolute favorites. Snek the best. Well, turns out to me Snek's only deterred best. But um I ah man, I love Snivy. Snivy is just so like cool and calm looking. I don't I just I love Snivy and its evolutionary line. They look so awesome. I thought it was super creative to have a snake slash serpent sort of um, choice for the grass starter. I just, I really, really like it. Even from a generation with designs I didn't completely like, I love Snivy. Like, and even Snivy's like actual usefulness in combat isn't that good, but I love the Pokemon as a whole. Um, that was probably the only drawback. Other than that, every single step in its evolutionary line I absolutely love. Um, Servine, kind of a weak point, I will admit. But Superior and Snivy are just so great that it more than makes up for it. Especially Superior. Superior is an all-time favorite Pokemon of mine once again. My second favorite Pokemon starter of all time is actually from Gen 6, and it's Fennekin. Fennekin is just, the design looks so cool. I absolutely love the Firefox design. Um, so, yeah, I just, I'm very, very much a massive fan of the design. And beyond that, its evolutions are amazing, especially its typing by the time it reaches the end, being Fire Psychic which is a typing I absolutely love. I think it's a really creative one. It's really good all-out offense, but um, special offense, of course. But, um, oh man, it's just, I don't know. It's really cool. I, I like using it. It's cute, and like its, evolu <clears throat> it's evolutions, like I said before, breaks in, got that smexy furbate breaks in, and then, of course, Delphox, Delphox, again, like I said, for the final stage of all the Gen 6 starters, is not exactly what I would have wanted or expected, but I still do like Delphox. I still think it does look cool. I think it has really cool moves and stuff. I, I'm just a huge fan of the Fennekin line. And Fennekin in its evolutionary line was like a big relief after three firefightings in a row to not get a firefighting starter. My heart, my heart goes out to you, Fennekin, for breaking that terrible, terrible, horrible Dark Age um, that Gen 4 and Gen 5 thrust upon us with extra firefighting types. But, um, yeah, I just, it saved us from that, and I love it. I love it. Everything about the starter. My favorite Pokemon starter of all time, Trico. Now... Well, you can tell I'm not a Gen 1 supremacist. I only had one Gen 1 starter in my top five, I think. But, oh my gosh, I love Trico. Trico was always my favorite of Ash's Pokemon in the anime. And just using it in the games, it is one of those that, as a kid, I absolutely loved using it. Trico was just like a companion Pokemon for me. Trico is my 
favorite starter, obviously, and your starters are typically the ones you get the most attached to, like Trico. Trico's my companion. He's so cool looking too. Even though he's a pure grass type, all of his evolutions look awesome. His moveset, I think, is really awesome for a uh, grass type. It was unique for a grass type at the time when he came out, the sort of style of play that he came with. And now having a mega evolution that is um, admittedly uh, not the best to deal with ice, I guess. But um, his mega evolution is so awesome. I like the... Like, I'm not a huge Mega Evolution fan, everyone that uh, has heard me talk about Pokemon knows. I don't like the whole concept of Mega Evolution, but I just, I really love Mega Sceptile's design. So, um, definitely, Trico has got to be my favorite Pokemon starter of all time. Now then, I'm going to leave Trico up here as I end the video, so, um... Like if you guys did like this video, tell me your favorites down below in the comments and tell me what you thought of my favorites. Um, subscribe for more Pokemon, Kiznaiver, The Walking Dead, Tower of God, One Piece, a bunch of stuff. Just check the channel out, subscribe if you want. Follow on Twitter if you want as well. I'll try to keep you updated there as best I can with um, news on when I'm posting new videos or when I'm pushing back the uh, ones that I have planned if I have to push any back. So, thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you all next time.